very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret society, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. To what's happening in our nation The world will stand up for the fear of assassination So they strip us of everything We stand there and just take it I'm Scared to make a stand of false flag operation Research Illuminati Find out by 9-11 uh-huh. You see they line their pockets Don't believe the lies they tell us Trying to seek the truth Realize we need to do Whatever it is we can To protect our livelihood It's time for us to group When the conspiracy or not They owe some explanations To the questions that we got What are the skull and bones what is lying beneath all these secretive means Got you lying between your teeth What's with the Bilderberg? I'm burning your effigies I'm praying a Lucifer How Satanist can you be? While all of the time praying you believing in the peace Just to keep up appearances within Christianity Come on! What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot here. Just checking out some more of this gene drive shit. And it's evil, man. So, in case you folks missed it or didn't get this the other day, what this is pretty much doing is taking the souls of people. I don't know how else to put it. So, you know, God's supposed to come and reclaim the good, the righteous souls. Can't really do that if there ain't any. This is the idea. Let's say we're this blue ones here. They start introducing the, the evil shit. And slowly but surely, you know, one replaces the other, good replaces a bad one, or a bad one replaces a good one. Until finally, there ain't any. Now, these are fruit flies. Uh, they wanted, they wanted to change because when fruit flies are born, they're usually a dark color. And they wanted to change them, so they were blue. And they did. And there were no more dark colored fruit flies. Get that, folks? I know it's hard. It's, hey, it's crazy technology, man. But it's easy, it's actually pretty easy to clone somebody. In case you folks didn't see last night all the cloning shit I was posting, that was fucking incredible. Even listening over the radio, like I was just sitting there like, wow. But this dude brought up a good point. Look at all these photos of Bruce Lee Let's look at them all folks go through those and I bet you will not find one picture that looks exactly the same You'll see him with real thick eyebrows. You'll see him with real barely any eyebrows. You'll see him with a real defined chin. You'll see him with kind of a chubby square looking chin. 
His hair. Fucking hairlines. Uh, I mean, it's just fucking incredible, the coincidences. I can tell you right now, at this point, that wasn't Bruce Lee. Are you fucking kidding me? Bruce Lee, Mr. Hollywood? So he was just another Mason. He was a founder. Anybody that founds something, they take. The Illuminati fucking buy them off or kill them. Because they can make all sorts of money. So, I mean, do you really think Bruce Lee died from a fucking pill? <laughs> One pill? Come on, man. Now, look. Look at this Bruce Lee. And look at this Bruce Lee. And look at this Bruce Lee. These two are the same. These are the same picture. But I mean, these two are the same. But I'm dead ass, folks. You won't find one. I looked. It's as Bruce Lee as I knew him. I don't know who this fucking office guy is. There's a, there's a real Bruce Lee. I mean, you can just tell, folks. You just tell by looking at him. Look, that's not Bruce Lee, man. You fucking kidding me? It looks like Sonny Bono. Telling you, folks, you won't find one. That's just one celebrity. Ah, uh, you like water. Water without fluoride. <sighs> so, images for cloning. Humans, genes. I mean, the process. It's only a two, three step process, folks. It's very easy to clone. Jeez. Dare we? I mean, you're out of your fucking mind if you don't think that, you know, the secret government has been Splicing together animals and humans for the fucking longest. Of course they have. God fucking knows the shit they came up with. Who knows which one of these pictures are real? Guess that's something else to dive into. Greengarageblog.org The eco-friendly blog. Look at that, folks. Just found a brand new blog with a bunch of more news. What the fuck, folks? Look around, man. I feel like it's one of my favorite pictures ever, man. <laughs> hey folks, in case you didn't know, I don't know if, have you folks ever seen the, um, the flying saucer that tractor beams the fucking cow up to the spaceship? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look for that. Okay folks, so this ain't no fucking joke. No trickery. These people are doing a documentary 
I even actually have the fucking documentary right around this thing. It's like 45 minutes long. So they're doing the documentary. And then this shit happens. Is a video from 1983 that happened to catch an unforgettable shocking event. Okay. And as you can see, the uh, the aircraft. Let's take another look. The aircraft is a little uh, transparent. No. Uh, Multi-dimensional. Look at right over in this pile here. Watch. And then when he, as soon as he's up there. It just fucking shoots off. Sorry, buddy. We need you for genetic mutations. Genetic experiment. Let's take another look. Okay, so you wonder why, you know, animals, find footage of the exact moment. animals around the world showing up without no fucking eyeballs, no insides or anything. There you go. This cloning thing is unbelievable. I mean, the level of it. Everybody. All the celebrities. Folks, I thought this dude was just, you know, overreaching. But no. It's just about every fucking celebrity. You, folks, you gotta spend a night on this shit. You have to. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, that was reality shit, folks. It's unreal. Who knows what fucking quackery we go to from here. Stick around and find out. I don't even fucking know.